hey guys good evening and this is not my regular instagram tv video so but today i want to talk about decision making especially with the young people because a lot of young people these days when we tend to take decisions based on our circle of friends based on what is popular with our friends i'm talking in proportion direct in proportion with herbalife nutrition i do herbalife nutrition I'm a wellness coach, so I'm talking based on experience of what I've noticed out there today because a lot of people, they take decisions. Young girls, young guys, take decisions based on what is popular with our friends. And most of the times when your friend says, no, I'm not into this, no, it's not nice, then you're like, okay, it's not nice. I'm talking example because I give out have a life opportunity every single day of my life. And some people are like, and when I meet two girls or maybe two guys, then I'm like, hey, do you know about Herbalife? They're like, do you know about it? They're afraid that, ah, let's go, ah, do Herbalife things. Then the next thing, you're gone. And you walk away from an incredible opportunity without even listening to it, without knowing how much that opportunity can even impact your life. And you just walk away because your friend says, ah, no, let's go, ah, it's this Herbalife people. But what is very important that you don't know is, Possibly one year from now, two years from now, your friend is not even going to be around you. And the next thing, you're going to be looking for jobs at places that you don't like, earning salaries that is not what you ever dreamed of, just because you took a silly decision because your friend was in another, in another mindset. Try to ask yourself most of the times, what am I doing? How is this going to impact my life positively and negatively? Three years later, that same friend, you don't even remember her name. You don't even know where she is on the globe. You don't even you lost communication with her. Five years later, you cannot even know, you don't even remember that person exists. But because of that person, you lose an opportunity to have the best life you could ever have before. And it's not only about the herbal life opportunity. There are so many decisions we make in a day that are not really our decisions, but they are decisions of other people that we want to please them. We're trying to make the decision to please them, to make to look cool in front of them. Trust me, for the past 10 years of my life, I'm I'm betting with you. I think I'm keeping just like three, three close friends for the past 10 years. I've traveled a lot. I've gone into different countries. I've met people here and there. We are friends for that moment. After that, I'm gone. So I will not take a decision based on trying to please a friend or trying to go according with my friends. Guys, let's talk about that. There are thousands of opportunities down there, but the, the difference between success and failure is just a thin line. And talking about the opportunity that I offer, which is the Herbal Life opportunity, I realize a lot of people are like, a lot of young people, they are scared. One, they are scared. And the second thing is not, it's not only about them being scared, but also they believe that there is time and there is time ahead of my life and I'm going to become the greatest person that I want to become. I'm going to make about the much money I want to make. But trust me, reality always kicks in. You are like, no, I'm still 23 years old. I'm going to still have time ahead of me. The next thing you know, you're 25. The next thing you're 27. You're 30. Reality kicks in. Then now you start settling into reality. You start going to look for a job that is not a job that you wanted to do. I wanted to be a pilot. I wanted to be a this. But now you say, no, let me just hold this job at this small restaurant for 5000 while I figure things out. The next thing you know, you're three years already inside the job. I'll, I'm always curious and I always ask people questions when I meet them like, hey man, how is your job going? How long have you been doing this job? Like, man, man, it's two years now. Was it your intention to do the job for two years? No, man, I was just looking for a hustle because I wanted to go back to school, but you never finished that school. You never went back to school, but now you're two years inside here. And the next question I always ask is, do you want to still do two more years? No, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm looking for another opportunity. Then I introduced my herbal life opportunity. I said, okay, you can start with this opportunity part-time and make extra income while you look. No, man, I cannot do that. I'm too busy with my job. The same job you want to you wanna get out of it is the same job that is stopping you from getting out of it. Then, like I realized that the problem is in the mindset. A lot of people is the mindset. 
You say you don't want to do two more years in this job and I'm offering you an opportunity for you to start making extra income, the gateway out of that job, but you are still, you're closing that gate of that opportunity, trying to preserve the job. Then at the end of the day, you see that a lot of people, they don't even know what they want in life. A lot of people preach like, I want this, I want that, but they don't even know what they actually want. They want to make a lot of money, but they're not willing to let go the small money that they are making constantly. A lot of people are very comfortable with the salary. A in, you need to have a very tough mindset to break that barrier of your daily income or your monthly income to leverage. A lot of people, they're holding down to 5000 and letting go 50000 They prefer to hold... Somebody's... They tell you that come to this site, you're going to make as much money as you are willing to work for, but you decide to better preserve this 5,000 that you know and this old principle that they always say that um, a bed at hand is better than 10 in the bushes, my friend. That's all and gone. That's all those days. A bed at hand these days is not better than 10 in the bushes. If you're a grill hunter and if you trust in your ability to hunt, you are going to know that when you go inside that bush, you're going to find not only one bed, you're going to find 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you trust in your ability. So the problem is trust. A lot of people don't trust in their abilities. And that's the reason why you're stuck at that job is because you don't trust in your own ability. You don't trust in your own ability, so you, pre you prefer to stay at that job. You prefer to do what you know that you're paying you very less for it rather than to go out there and hustle. A lot of people say, I'm a hustler, but you are not a hustler. You just like the word hustler. You just like, to, you just like people to see you like you are cool, you are using this word, you are a hustler. What are you hustling for? What are you really going after? Because when the show time comes up, a lot of people are going to shrink. When it's real show time, when the sun comes up, a lot of people are going to shrink. They're not that hustler that they usually talk. They usually put on the post, I'm a hustler, I'm grinding. A lot of people are going to shrink when the sun comes out. They're going to go in and look for shelter. And that is why you keep on keeping that job that you know you're not happy at the job. They don't pay you enough. Somebody's controlling your paycheck. But not only that, time freedom, you don't have it. I'm so grateful I took this opportunity because when I started my business, when I was introduced into the business, it took me six months. I refused the opportunity. But when I was desperate, I had to go out there and I took the decision four months into Herbalife to quit soccer. Nobody asked me to quit soccer. I decided I'm going to quit soccer. Why? Because I could see that reality is I'm a soccer player. I love soccer. I've done soccer all my life. But trust me, the reality was at that point in time, it was not going the way I wanted it to go. And no matter, yes, you can persevere. Yes, you can stay and hope that things are going to get better. But the future doesn't get better by hope. I could say, people are like, why did you quit soccer? You could persevere. Yes, I could persevere. Yes, I could stay in soccer and persevere for it to come. But the price to pay was too much for the benefits that I was going to have. The price that I was going to pay to keep on waiting to play for a professional team, to get a super team again, a professional team again, was too much. Whereas I could turn around and start something that was going to still give me the same income opportunity as playing soccer. I said the same income opportunity and even better than. Because with Herbal Life opportunity that I got, within four months, I was already making enough income like my friends that were playing in the lower leagues that I was being offered. Within one year, I was already, I'm already, I was already making enough income as people as my friends that had professional contract here in South Africa. And now one year, nine months, I got a lot of friends that are playing in the PSL that I know them and I know I'm making more money than them playing in the PSL. But here is the difference. I'm working for myself. If I got an injury today, I will still make money. Yes, I don't have any coach 
pressing me on my shoulder telling me why were you not in practice yesterday why are you going your performance is dropping your this is dropping i motivate myself i push myself i coach myself i am my own manager i do everything on myself and i'm capable of doing it because i trust in my ability and trust me five years from now ten years from now my friends they will quit soccer They'll quit soccer and they will still fall back again into life. But 10 years from now, my business will just like it will be at the peak of my business. So that is the reason why I'm talking about the young people today. Try to make decisions that is going to help you. You don't have forever. Stop thinking like you have forever. You don't have forever, guys. Time is ticking. The reality is reality. Yes, you can have big dreams. You can hope. You can hope. But the future doesn't get better by hoping. No, let me just hold this restaurant drop. Then the next thing, you lost that dream of buying a Range Rover. For some point in my life, I lost the dream of buying a Range Rover. I was ready to play in a soccer team that was going to pay me 5,000 rand per month. I was willing to trade that. Because I was just hoping. But I realized the future doesn't get better by hoping. And it gets better by planning. So now I'm in a company that helps me to plan my future. And I just plan my future and I work the course and it's guaranteed. But in soccer, nothing was guaranteed. You play and you hope that the coach likes you. You hope that they give you a contract that favors you. You hope that you are at your best and you don't get injury. You just hope, 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 hope. But guys, I'm in a place that is far more better. I thought to share this with you. If you really like this, share it with your friends. If you really like it, tag somebody, tag a friend to tag a friend. Just ask your friends for more. I will send the link of my YouTube as well. You can still go watch it better on my YouTube. I love you guys. Make a decision not based on your friends, not based on your circumstances. Two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, you're going to be proud of yourself. If you don't have a decision, you don't know where you can channel your energy to, I'm a Herbalife coach. It's a network marketing business. I will introduce you into it and possibly it can be something for you. If not for you, God bless you, my friend, with your hustle, but do something to change your life. Reality is reality. You can't change the reality.